Hello everybody, it's Friday again. We've gone around another week. It gets here quickly, doesn't it? I used to love Fridays when I was working. And now that I work at home in the peace and quiet, I kind of don't like Fridays because that means <laughs> tomorrow the craziness begins. Well, tonight really, when everybody's home and whatever. All right, I see you guys jumping on. I'm just rambling about random things, who knows. Oh, it is a cold one here. I know I'm always complaining about the weather. We have had super cold weather this week. And I went, ran to the store this morning and I didn't wear a jacket because we don't do that here. And I about died. <laughs> 33 with a wind. I mean, that's cold, right? Northern ladies, that's cold. I mean, surely you guys consider that cold. I, uh, my hands were like frozen. We're not used to that. Oh, but they say it's our last winter hurrah down here. So maybe we'll start having spring soon. Today, we are going to do three projects with the Hello Lady Bug um, stamp set. I love, love this set. It's cutesy. I love cutesy. Um, you got two different kinds of ladybugs. One that matches the punch, which I'm going to give you some tips about. And then one that you can just stamp, you know, without punching. This flower actually coordinates with our medium daisy punch. We always like that when things cross over, right? When when we can pull from what we have already. So that's what we're going to do. Let me pull up um, my Facebook so I can see you guys. It was open and I, I must have the, um, it like turns off really quickly. I need to change that. All right, good. I can see you guys. So, um, you know, today I was going to try to put all the links. I don't know if I did that or not. Were all the links there? Let's see. Hold please. Hello. Good to see you guys. Um, no, they're not. Okay. Does it say anything? Facebook Friday? Weird. All right. Let me just share this over to my other page and then we'll move on. All right, so it is the last countdown, the final countdown to celebration. Um, as you know, celebration only lasts two months and it is over on Monday. Um, people always kind of um, panic by here at the end when you're like, oh, I need that paper. I'm, I don't have enough of that paper. As of maybe three hours ago when I checked our inventory report, everything is still in stock, which I really, you know, they've been warning us about the uh, supply chain. So I really thought we were going to run out of stuff before um, celebrations over, but not, it's not. So I would recommend getting more rainbow paper and more daffodil paper. Um, it's all gone on Monday or Monday is the last day. Okay. So there's that. Um, we are using one celebration thing today, a stamp set that's free with a hundred dollar purchase. Um, I forget what it's called. Special Moments. It's a good one. Other than that, everything else is in the spring catalog. I have to show you guys a couple of cards I got this week. Um, this came from my DDM. DDM is, stands for Demonstrator Development Manager, I think. It's basically my direct contact person at Stampin' Up. His name is Chad, and he always sends me a card with every milestone. So this one was for it earning the trip, which... Happened a long time ago, but I will take the card whenever. Thank you. Isn't it cute? I love when guys send stamped cards. I think, did he really make this? Or did somebody make it for him? Who knows? And then this gorgeous card, this came from Laura. This is a um, thank you card for something that I had given her. Um, but, you know, she used that vellum that I completely forgot about. I had to touch it. It almost looks like... I don't know. It's gorgeous. I need to pull that vellum out. That's a really fun card, Laura. Thank you very much. If you haven't checked out the Stampin' Up! Facebook or Instagram account, um, they have the artist showing you how she painted that paper, how she made those things and put them on the paper. It blows my mind. So if you're interested in that, you need to check it out because um, she... They have an artist there who is a, she's a concept artist and she also does all the paint painting and all that for some of the paper. I always send those to my daughter because you know my daughter's a studio art major in college 
and my husband's always like, and you're going to do what? <laughs> and so I'm always like, look, an art job, an art job, something totally she could do. So anyways, okay, speaking of that, let's look the artfully composed um, PDF. We are ending, we're nearing the end of this month. Um, I haven't sent them out this week. So if you've placed an order this week, I will send them out today. You get this free when you spend $50 with me online. Um, it's 12 tutorials. All of them feature the artfully composed suite. Here's mine. It's a little boozy, summer boozy treat. Um, next month is, I get these two com confused. This is artfully composed. The other one with the hexagons is called, I can't remember. I get them confused because they both say art something. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. The one with the hexagons, that's next month. The ne next month's PDF. It's coming, okay? So you'll get that. It's also available in my PDF store if you're looking for it. Paper pumpkin arrived. You guys, look how cute. I had to put mine together. It's so stinking cute. Look, this is a really good one for kids. It's really simple. Um, I actually haven't finished. I didn't put the rhinestones on or the embellishments. Um, it comes, of course, with, <laughs> look, a spot and a stamp set. And it has, they always have fancy envelopes, nine cards. I have some extras. If you need one, let me know. Um, I also still have the ones from, was it last month? The hugs and kisses. I have a bunch of those left, too, if anybody needs those. Um, but anyway. I've got, I've got these kits. They're so cute. Next month's kit, um, I just threw that paper away too. Let me see. I have it right here. The uh, next month's paper pumpkin kit is the horizon. It's gonna coordinate with the horizon suite in the spring catalog, Beyond the Horizon, um, which I just played with a little bit yesterday. It's really pretty. So anyway, that's March's paper pumpkin. Okay. Um, Club Create, somebody asked me recently about the Club Create class, and it's not really a class, um, yet it is kind of like a class. It's club, which means kind of like you're a frequent flyer, you know, when you join club, and every month that you stay, um, when you hit the sixth month of club, you get Stamina Rewards for free. So this is March, March's club, the... Uh, your biggest fan bundle. Um, it's a subscription, $39 a month. You can cancel anytime. You can sign up for just one kit and then cancel it. I get it, that's fine. But I, I have it as a subscription as a reward to reward those of you who buy my classes all the time. Um, that way, you know, you're getting some reward, you know, like a punch card kind of. Um, so that's what this is. Um, there is a tab at the top of my blog that has all the details and the subscription link, so make sure you check that out. Um, that goes through, we still have a week. March 7th will be the last day to sign up for that. And then the next one is Cactus Cuties, and it's sitting right there, and it's so cute. I'm not gonna show you, I'll show you guys next week. Um, I filmed the video today, I gotta finish the PDF, it's so cute. Christine says, I love Club Create, good. I'm glad you guys like it. It is the biggest thing I do all month. It's the biggest job that I do. Um, it takes me a full week to, do, to pack them, cut, prep, pack, all that. That doesn't even include the design, the typing, the video. It's, it's a huge undertaking, but I love it. I'm glad you guys like it. Okay, so then on the flip side is class, my class to go for March. It's Seize the Day. It is this bundle right here. Um, this class to go is just, it's not a subscription. It's just a one, a one-off, right? You buy the class kit, you register for the class kit and that's it. You're not gonna, it's not a reoccurring thing like club is. You're gonna get six cards. Um, you're gonna get a quarter pack of this gorgeous paper that will be available on Tuesday for you guys to order. You're gonna get a pack of these gorgeous rhinestones, which are also going to be available. I'm hoping you're gonna get some of the faux what are they called? Um, faux sea glass. They're on back order right now. I'm hoping that they come in before. And some linen thread. Um, this is available with the bundle. 
without the bundle and as a PDF only. And then my downline, they get it as a, at a discount as well. All right, so the link for this, I have sent out an email. You can also um, click the link on my PDF or my blog. It'll take you to the information page. Send me an email and just say, please send me the registration link and I will. All right, the deadline for that is not till towards the end of March. And the reason why it's so far away is because I'm gonna be gone for a whole week in March um, in Utah for my million dollar sales retreat. So I have to kind of push things off a little bit further than I normally would. So you got a lot of time to register for that. Okay, oh, um, let's see, what do I wanna tell you? So celebration ends Monday, right? The other part of celebration is that you can get the starter kit for $99. If you've been thinking about it, tick tock, <laughs> the clock is ticking, $99, here's a sample kit. I showed it to you guys last week. If you wanna see it in detail, go back and watch last week's Facebook Friday. This is just a sample. You can make whatever you want, anything you want, up to $125, and then um, you add on two additional stamp sets. So potentially about $175 worth of product for just $99, um, and the shipping is free. So $99 plus tax, whatever that is. Um, and then you get to, to uh, take advantage of all the demo perks. <coughs> the annual catalog sneak peek is coming. You'll get to do that way early. Um, you get to be a part of my team. You get a discount slash instant income. Um, there's no pressure, guys. You don't have to do what I do. You don't have to have Facebook Lives. You don't have to do a blog. You don't have to do any of that. Um, you can, and I will help you if you want to. But there, I don't want you guys to think there's ever any pressure on my team to do that. I train, I do trainings. I do, um, you know, projects. We have a meeting, make and takes every month. But they're fun for you, even if you're just a, uh, your own customer. Or if you are, you can use them as cards for card class if you are running a business. So either way, you're welcome. There's no pressure to do anything other than what you want to do with it. If you have questions about that, please send me an email. Remember, Monday's the last day to get that additional two stamp sets. The starter kit's always available for $99, and it's always an amazing deal, but during celebration, they always um, add in two, or they always add in something, and this time it's two additional stamp sets. So you get more bang for your buck. Um, I missed a question. Um, Marianne, bundle for Club Create for April is Cactus Cuties. This one right here. Okay, that'll be April for Club Create. Okay, we're getting down to the end of the table. Um, I'm gonna flip you guys around, okay? Because I want you to see this cute little, where did this go? Right here. Um, I want you to see this cute little graphic that I made. And I don't want it to be backwards, so hold on. Okay, rotate your phone. Why are you telling me that? It's doing something weird, everybody. Hold your breath. I have got to get something better than doing this. I know, I just don't wanna take the time to, to learn something. <laughs> I'm being lazy. Not lazy, I'm just too busy, that's what it is. All right, let's see, where are we? Are we centered? Um, we are not. I think that needs to go maybe like that. No, maybe. Hold on. There's an eight second delay. Okay. So normal Facebook Fridays. Let me see if I turned you guys sideways. I can't tell if I did or not. Yep, I did. Okay. Let me go back this way. <laughs> Hold please. Um, whoa, that was really crooked. So Facebook Fridays, um, are every Friday, right? And I send you if you would like the projects we make today as a make and take, I send you the make and take packet. They look like this. Um, they're free. Um, as a thank you to anybody who spends $35 or more with me between now and Monday at midnight. Um, there is a host code right here. Please use that host code unless your order is over $150. do not use it because then you will get um, Stamper Rewards. To round out celebration to do you know to send off celebration i am offering a free pair of stamp and blends as a thank you from me with every 50 dollars you spend this is retroactive from this past tuesday if you put it in order before i announced this or you didn't know that's okay you can still click the link and go fill out the um the form let me show you guys 
let me pull up my blog here. Um, now, if you put in an order, let's say your order is $100, um, you get two pair of blends, right? So you go over to my blog and underneath this photo right here, there's a link right here. First, please check what's in stock. Um, see if the colors you want are in stock. There are some of the natural tone salmon blends that are out of stock and I can't order them. Um, so please make sure that they are in stock, okay? Then click that and go and fill out this form and let me know which Stampin' Blends you want. I'm not gonna hunt you down and ask you what blends you wanted. You have to do that by Tuesday morning. When I get up, I'm gonna put that order in right away. I'm gonna expedite it. And then I'm gonna send them with your Facebook Friday make and takes, okay? Does that make sense? Um, it's very easy. If you forget the host code, just email me, let me know. Um, if you don't use the host code, I'm going to think you don't want any of it because um, some people don't. Um, but if you forget the host code, which happens, I've done it myself, just email me, okay? And I can add the host code to it. Um, but you have to fill out that form letting me know which Stampin' Blends that you want. Okay? Does that make sense? Um, let's see if I'm missing anything. I was like blind there for a minute. I, didn't see, I couldn't see any comments, which is a very eerie feeling. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, whoa, I'm way down. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, the, <laughs> Cheryl's like, the other way, we're upside down. Okay, I think we got it. So you guys know if you want free salmon blends, follow the link. I am not going to hunt you down to ask you what blends you want. You have to do it by Tuesday when I put in that order, okay? Okay, that's that. All right, last but not least, we've got prizes. Um, last week, I picked two winners. Um, Julie O'Neill and Donna Fields. Oh, uh, Julie, I think I have yours. Donna, I don't think I have yours. If y'all will email me, please. Let me know where you want me to mail these. I will be happy to send them. Thank you for sharing the video. I do appreciate it. It helps me find new customers, um, new stampers. And I am very appreciative when you guys do that. I've got a big bundle this week to give away. This is gonna be just one person. The Here Together Bundle and two set sets of the Natural Tone Blends. All right, so all you have to do is share the video. Let us know. Um, let us know that you shared in the comments. Michelle is asking, so you can get both the Make and Takes and Blends with $50? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Um, I want to reward you guys. You guys have been so good to me during celebration, shopping and buying classes and stuff. So this is my way of saying thank you. You can get both and you'll get the um, all-star PDF. I know, so many good things, so many. All right, so if you would like to win that, make sure you share and let us know that you shared in the comments. Um, just a heads up, you guys, next week, beginning maybe I'm gonna have to look at the dates I will let you guys know for sure let me look I think I have the flyer right here oh March 1st the stamp the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine the mini is going to be on sale $48 and there's going to be some blend or some bundles that are also on sale so that'll be March be on the lookout for that okay that's after celebration Okay, I think we are done. Let me take a drink and we'll get started. Okay, so we are doing the cute little hello. I keep wanting to say butterfly. So if I say butterfly, you guys just, just fill in ladybug, okay? <laughs> hello, ladybug, not hello, butterfly. All right, the first card Let's see, why can I, I feel like I can't get organized. Do we need that? Yes, we need that. Hold on, let me just get all organized. Why do I have that? Do, 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 do. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is make this cute little card right here. Um, the, these, two of these are, um, Oh, what do you call it? Two-step stamping. So you're gonna stamp first and then stamp that oh, that second color on top of it. We're gonna use a Stamparatus because I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, even me, who stamps for a living, <laughs> I stamp literally every single day. 
I can't always get them lined up. So the Stamparatus is the way to go, okay? All right, so, and we're also going to be using that cute little paper right there. See, that's the here together paper. We're gonna use that for the ladybug's body. If I can get all of this off the tray, we will get started. My dog is staring at me. <laughs> My old one, he's just standing at the doorway staring. I don't think he's trying to tell me anything. I think he's just thinking that I've lost my mind. Who in the world am I talking to? I think. Surely they would be used to that by now, right? You would think. Um, million dollar stamp set. So my million dollar stamp set won't be in the catalog until next spring. It's gonna be a next spring uh, mini catalog. They do the catalogs two years out. So um, mine will be coming. It's been in the works since maybe the summer. So yeah, it takes a long time. So it'll be next spring. Unfortunately, it won't be in the, in the annual catalog. Okay, what are we doing? When you, um, why can't I get my head in the game? Okay, when you are using a punch like this, um, or any punch really, you're gonna, when you stamp something, I always like to turn my punch over to see, you know, like if I stamped it like, I don't know, like that, it's gonna be harder to punch out. I'm gonna have to cut my paper. So I always flip my punch over to see exactly the easiest place and the direction I need to put it is. So we're gonna be able to slide that in and punch it out. But let's do all the other things first. My shaded spruce is over here. Now, Sandy said, I see, when I posted the sneak peek, she said, I see some fussy cutting in my future. And yep, <laughs> you are right. Uh, the leaf has to be fussy cut. Now, if you don't want to fussy cut, stamp it on a circle and punch it out, right? Just as a circle. That would totally work. So that is shaded spruce. That's a good green, isn't it? All right, and then we're gonna stamp, we're gonna turn this piece and stamp the sentiment. The sentiments are cute, but feel, don't feel like you have to use these stamp sets or these sentiments with your ladybug. Um, you know, like if, if somebody you know is having a baby and their um, nursery is ladybugs, we'll change the sentiment to a baby sentiment. Right? I mean, you don't always have to be, sometimes the sentiments just like aren't what I need. So I, I love to go hunting in my stamps to find a sentiment that works. All right, now for the dots, you can see <laughs> where I did it yesterday. I'm gonna use the Stamparatus so that I can get them lined up. Um, for whatever reason, where's my take your pick tool? It was just here, yep hidden for whatever reason photopolymer sticks to my fingers and when I'm trying to really get them in the right place I can't do it so if you just get your scissors your paper snips or you take your pick tool and line it up and then carefully pull it up the photopolymer is sticky so sometimes it will pull up your paper especially when they're new you guys so what I do is I'll take the stamp, I don't have a clean one, and I, like, if I'm worried about it being sticky, before I've even used it, I'll, like, tap it on my clothes. You know, like, when you de-sticky a sticker, or, um, you know, sometimes we'll get those sticker sheets of embellishments, and you want to pop it up, you can de-stick it by sticking it on your clothes, or a towel, or whatever. So I'll do that, and then if it still is sticky, which sometimes it is, and it pulls up your paper, just get, like, your take your pick tool, or... Even better, your bone folder, because it'll, and it'll hold that paper down like that. When the Stamparatus first came out, that was the problem I had the most. Um, but you just work around it, because the photopolymers are just so sticky in the beginning. And then, if your photopolymer stamp loses its stickiness completely, oh wow, perfect, then you take it to your sink, and you give it a bath with like Dawn dish soap and it'll be like new again. Okay, 
Now here we go. Oh, I may have to I may have to uh, restamp that sentiment. All right, so there's that. We're gonna stamp the body or punch the body. Um, Deb, use an eraser. That's a good idea too. To use an eraser to de-stickify. <laughs> Is that a word? De-sticky, de-stickify. All right, let's punch out the body. I'm gonna get as many, these are little hearts. I'm gonna get as many as I can down there, like in the lower part. There we go. And we will get out our dimensionals. I made some tags this week for that class kit, that rainbow class, uh, rain boots class kit, and I used um, a pack and a half of dimensionals. <laughs> A whole pack and a half. That was a lot. I don't think I've ever used that many before. Um, I've always suspected I've used a lot, but this time I was like, I'm going to count. I'm going to only use a new pack and see. I even use the edges too. Um, Nancy says, I like to use a piece of window sheet between the stamp and paper. Then when you close the lid and remove, and remove the window sheet. Huh. I'll have to play around with that. That's an interesting tip. I haven't used window sheets in a while. All right, so now fussy cutting. You guys know what I'm gonna tell you. Stay on the outside. Give yourself a white border around it. Stay in the middle of, look, I smeared it. Um, stay in the middle of your scissor blades and just go slow. Use your other hand to turn. Um, paper snips are back in stock. So if you've been needing another pair, I have a lot of paper snips. I keep some in my car. Um, Cause you know, you always need scissors in the car. Or at least we do. Always, we always need scissors for something. So I keep a pair in the car. Just make sure, I have a little cup holder that I put like pens and stuff in. Just make sure that you either keep that cover on it that comes with it, or you put them point down because they are sharp. We have, we have had some mishaps <laughs> with the scissors, with the paper snips. All right, I'm gonna pull out my, oh, come on. I'm gonna pull out my little trimmer here and see if I need to, I think, I, I think that'll be all right. All right. Just a little snip there and we will punch this. You can bug me anytime, I thought that was cute. All right, there we go, and we've got that, and we've got that. Now, let's emboss our background piece. I have a piece of basic white. Um, oh, I did update the measurements, I believe, on the PDF. I did the PDF several days ago, and so now I'm like, did I put the measurements on there? I think I did. You keep taping the card too, you know, yeah, that's a smart idea. That is a smart idea. I need a lot of things in my car. I need a lot. My car was in the shop, um, and I had a rental, and all my little things, like chapstick and uh, my scissors, they were all not there, and it was it was irritating. It was like, where are all my little things? Chapstick, straws. We keep straws in the glove <laughs> glove box because we like straws. All right. Um, the hive embossing folder is what I'm using. I've been using this one a lot. I really, really like this embossing folder. Okay, there we go. And I like the debossed side rather than the embossed side. <laughs> For whatever reason, I like that to put the embossed side down. Okay, now we're gonna take our um, shaded spruce Packing tape is a really good one, Christine. Yeah, because you go to the post office and inevitably you need packing tape, right? And if you were to buy it there, it's like, I don't know, like $10, ridiculous. That's a very good idea. Now here, we have to be careful in the summer because it gets so hot that things will melt. Um, if I leave my purse in the car, like if I come home, I'm gonna go out a couple hours later and I leave my purse in the car, for what, everything in my purse is melted. Chapstick, everything. So you have to be, <laughs> here you have to be kind of careful. Okay, before I stick that down, let me tell you what I did. I splattered with shade, dark shaded spruce. And then, I didn't mean to pick these up yet. Um, we're gonna take 
Look, we're using this again. I wonder how many weeks in a row we've used this. I feel like it's been a lot. This is the Playful Pets black and white twine. And I did two loops and then I'm just gonna kind of set them on here. I kind of like that little loop like that. Just kind of in a messy little arrangement. And I'm gonna stick them down with dimensionals. I think maybe we might need one more because now my uh, dimensionals won't be so sticky. Um, yeah, Nancy says, my friend who's an EMT yelled at me about an accident. They could be dangerous. She said, keep the paper snips down. They are dangerous. They are sharp. They are very sharp. You are right about that. Your friend is right about that. My mom really hurt herself with the um, paper snips. All right, now I don't like it so much like that. Let's see, I think I'm gonna straighten it out so that we can see more of it. There we go. All right, so just, you know, like a messy arrangement of twine. All right, and then we will put on our cute little ladybug. Um, let's see, like that. And then we'll get our sentiment and we'll put it on. I'm gonna put one dimensional down here at the end and then I'm gonna take my stamp and seal and just put a little bit of that on that end because I'm gonna do like that. So it's gonna be kind of off and then stuck there. All right, now I have cut out with this die right here. I like these because they cut out a bunch at one time. All right, so I've cut those little hearts out from Real Red, and we're just gonna put a few right here. Yes, somebody asked if I'll be sharing pictures of the Million Dollar Retreat. Of course I will, yes. Um, it, it's gonna be interesting. This is the first Million Dollar Retreat that they've done. There's gonna be, um, you know, a group of us rather than just, they're just doing, you know, they used to do just one person at a time. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, one thing I know we're doing is snowshoeing. I think I told you guys that. Um, and then we got something today about some kind of mystery night. We'll see about that. We're very excited. All right. A little wink of Stella because, you know, ah, they're not dry. So let's do this. There we go. I feel like I'm doing surgery, except I'm not very good with my left hand. I would make a terrible surgeon. All right, that is it. Now, we're just gonna put it on this um, card front. What is going on here? Um, and I'm gonna be kind of generous with my adhesive because it's a little bit curled on the edges. So I'm gonna do quite a bit to get that to stick down. And there we go, a real red card base. So cute. What would you guys use that sentiment for? You can bug me anytime. Maybe like someone who's, um, you know, like having a rough time. You could send them a note telling them that you're thinking about them and that they can, you know, if they need to talk, they could bug you anytime, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Do you guys have any other ideas? while I'm cleaning up, getting us ready for our second card. Um, let's see, do we need this? We need that, we need this. Do, 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 do. All right. Now, thanks, I'm glad you guys like it. The next one is really, really cute. It's a fun fold, okay? Let me get all of my stamps. Here's the, the sentiment. To a good friend who needs to vent. Catherine, you know, isn't that one of the best things about a good friend is that you can vent to them and you feel better and, and they don't judge you. <laughs> and, you know, a good friend isn't going to judge you for your venting. I like it. All right. Um... Send your kids at college. Cheryl, that's a great idea. You know, my, da my daughter at college is uh, really good about calling. I almost feel bad. Like, she calls me, and I think, ooh, I haven't called her. <laughs> she's, she's a phone talker, though. 
And I'm not a phone talker. I don't like talking on the phone, but she loves talking on the phone. So maybe that's why. Okay. We're going to make a fun, fun fold. Um, oh, that's so cute. Kaj, is that how I say your name? Kaj says, my coworker always apologizes for bugging me during the day. Perfect card for her. And then Rebecca said, a new mom might need to talk. Or, or your grown kids. Yeah, a new mom. Boy, I have a friend who has a toddler and a preschooler. And <laughs> that's a hard time in your life. That's a hard time. It's precious time, but it's a hard, hard time. Okay, so there's the front. It's a belly band that slides off. And then, ta-da! So cute, right? Okay, so let's make this. It's got a belly band. We're going to use that vellum. It's called vellum layering designs, but I think that's a dumb name. So I'm calling it layering vellum. You know, again, they didn't ask me. I, I don't know why they don't call me and run these names by me because they should. All right, so this is a really easy, I guess you would consider this a fun fold, right? It's not complicated at all. Um, this is a quarter sheet of cardstock, so four and a fourth by five and a half. And then I cut just a regular card base. Ooh, look, it's not straight. I need to trim that. Um, regular card base that is a quarter inch smaller. So it's four, it's, it's four by 10 and a half and scored at five and a fourth. Don't worry, all of that is on the PDF, I think. <laughs> Somebody verify that for me, please. Okay, no, before we do that, we're gonna do some stamping. So, there's no fussy cutting. You're welcome, no fussy cutting. We are going to use this little guy, if I can find my black ink pad. Where is it? Right here. <laughs> okay, little cutie. Memento black. I panicked for a second. I thought, wait, this one's supposed to be red. Now, again, get your um, stamparatus, right? Line it up. Oh, UPS is here. Oh no. Charlie is right there. They're getting old and they're losing their hearing. And I covered the window so they can see. <laughs> All right, real red. Now, I'm not going to use my stamparatus. Let's see, go slowly. Eh, pretty good, you know, my red ink pad looks like it needs to be re-inked. So that was probably best done with a Stamparatus so I could re-stamp that to get that full red, but whatever, we're moving on. All right, a couple of little red heart, or not hearts, they're like the flower centers. And some of these little daffodil flowers like that. The more you stamp, the less you have to write. <laughs> if you're like me, you don't want a large space to write. You want it to be small. Okay, now before we put that on, we've got two of these, let me grab my Simply Scored, two of these white pieces that are three and three fourths by three and three fourths. And we're going to score them diagonally. Um, this on my Simply Scored, I took a marker and I drew down the six inch line specifically for these kind of projects. So I can line it up. I can put the top corner there and then I can down here see that it's in the right little groove. Okay. If you use your Stampin' Trimmer, um, I, you know, I don't use my Stampin' Trimmer enough. I'm sure there's a line for you to line it up with. All right. So there's that. That's the only scoring we're doing today. All right, now bring your real red back. <laughs> Christine, you know, just recently I noticed how horrible my ink pads look. Awful, awful. She says it looks like it's been through a war zone. Yes, a stamping war zone. And I know that it's been used a lot because it's super loose. You know, like the ones that you don't use very often are kind of stiff. Um, I'm a I've actually decided just this week, I hope I don't have ink on my hands, um, to start replacing my ink pads because <laughs> they look terrible. I have several like that. Real red is probably my most used color. Soft suede is a, I just ordered a soft suede because my soft suede, I actually have chunks out of the pad <laughs> missing. I don't know how that happened. Um, so it's seen better days. And I, I, um, I always notice other people's videos 
how clean their blocks are. <laughs> <laughs> and mine are always like scratched and smeared and have glue adhesive on it, you know, remnants of glue. So I'm thinking maybe I should just order a set of everything just for videos so that um, <laughs> at least it looks like I'm not a slob. All right, so I've, I've glued those on, I've stuck those on like that. Does that make sense? Now we're gonna take this, the back, and Stick this on like this all right don't forget to put those little triangle pieces on before you put this on because then you're gonna have to do it on the red and it's not gonna okay I'm out of adhesive I've got to change that over hold on let's see I just restocked my adhesive change over and then I've got to roll it. Okay, that didn't take very long. All right, this paper again here together. Have you guys noticed? I love this paper. Love, love, love it. Um, Don't let your eyes fool you. The lines aren't straight. They're a little wonky. Um, when I first looked at it, I was like, Is, what's wrong with my eyes? It felt very like my eyes were doing something. Um, but they're, they're not straight. All right. This is a piece of that layering vellum. We have used this before when we did the driving by stamp set. This is just the, the print, the, like the newsprint. And I, it's one by 12. I don't know if I put that on the PDF and I'm going to fold it over to make a belly band and we're just going to adhere it to itself, <laughs> not to the desk, um, like that. Okay. So you guys saw how it slides up and down. Then I have a, this is a stitched so sweetly shape um, from the stitch so sweetly dies. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Have you guys looked at this set? I, this is the first time I think I've used this set. Um, this is a celebration stamp set. Thanks for brightening up my day. Just a card to say you're amazing with symphony. Look, sim Sym sympathy, I think I said symphony. Hey boo, that's really cute. Um, that is, would be great anytime, but especially hello Halloween cards. Hello sunshine, I love that. Thanks, I always like little ones. Just a little hi from me. There's a lot in here, right? Really good. Look, it's okay to feel the feels, that's good. Um, so this is the one we're using. Where would I be without a friend like you? Um, so that one's free with a hundred dollar purchase. So if, if you don't want to buy the starter kit, which would be a better deal, I understand. This is one of the things that you could get with a hundred dollar purchase. All right. Now the, here it is, the um, daisy. And I'm going to get my little foam pad out again. If your photopolymer stamps, the larger ones, leave like a bubble you know, like you can't get the middle stamped, get a foam mat and put a foam mat under them and it will stamp beautifully. Now my stamp actually has a defect in it. I need to call Stampin' Up about that. Um, you can see it leaves a little line there every time. Sometimes that happens. Um, we were at, we were in Canab one time. We got to have a tour of the place where they make the photopolymers and there is a lady they, they put out these giant sheets of the stamps and she stands there and goes line by line checking quality control, checking the images. So I am sure that she misses some things, um, but you know, I'm sure it would be hard to even see. See how that fits? So if you ever get a stamp like that, Stampin' Up! will replace it. Uh, mine just leaves just a little, like a little, um, you know, like a little line. All right, so turn, turn, turn until it fits in there perfectly. And now we will put a little bit of glue, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I have cut out a real red stitched heart again. How many weeks in a row have I used the Give It A Whirl dies? I feel like I use them every single week. And I haven't even used the give it a whirl part. It's all the little accessory dies that I love so much. I need to do that, you guys. We need to do that give it a whirl. 
It's such a clever little die. It's on my, oh, it's on my radar. I'll try to get to it <laughs> before the end of the catalog. All right, and then we're gonna put that right there with a the dimensional. And let's bring back our old friend, the black and white twine. Mary Alice, I don't know if Mary Alice is on here. I got your earrings this week, Mary Alice. I'm wearing them today and I love them. She sent me some earrings that got lost and um, she wanted she wanted me to have them that she ordered them again for me and I love them. So Mary Alice, thank you. Very thoughtful of you. All right, little bow. Don't you love that color combination? Red, black, and yellow. I shared a card yesterday that my friend and downline, Anne-Marie, made. She's an amazing card maker. Um, and she used different colors than this. I kind of stuck with this color scheme. So you guys need to make sure you check it out on our face here in the Facebook group. All right, there you go. Um, <laughs> Diana, here they are. I had them on. Look at my hands. They're such a mess. Aren't they cute? And they feel good in my ears, too. 66 days, Christine, that is crazy that the catalog is ending in 66 days. It goes by fast. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? Cute, right? I like this fun fold. Okay, now let me clear some room. I've got one more project for you. What time is it? Oh, I'm going to be done early today. Um, You know, did I? I needed to show you guys my little thing that I got. I don't think it's in here. I don't think I ever showed you guys what was in my million dollar retreat box. I need to show you that, but I don't know. I think it's in my room. It's like a little, little bag, little wallet thing. Okay, I gave you guys a heads up that you needed to get the lint bugs, lint chocolate bugs. Um, here they are. I couldn't find them on Amazon, the exact ones that I got. Oh my gosh, there's a jet flying over, it's so loud. Um, but I linked you to the lint ones that are there. I got them at Target. I'm sure Walmart has them too. Um, but there's also a different brand of just the ladybugs that you can get um, that I linked you to Amazon as well if you wanna check that out. So we're just gonna make this little, oh my gosh, my hands are a mess. I'll do it like this, look, my nails. <laughs> My nails look good. Um, this is just a little, like a treat, like a party favor. Um, when I was a teacher, we had mailboxes. I'm sure you guys, where you work, you have like a slot where everybody, you know, you put stuff, mail, whatever. And the PTA would come and they would put little treats in our box from time to time. And I just think that that would be so cute sitting in somebody's box, in their mailbox, right? Just a little pick me up a little thank you. Um, I'm gonna show you at the end how I did the B. It's very simple. Okay, so let's make, we're gonna make just the little frame. Um, I've actually had this in my brain for a long time. This, um, I see these bugs all the time around Easter and I'm like, this is what I have in my mind to do with them. And I just never done it. And then when this came out, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to do that. We have to make them. All right, this is the largest scallop circle. And then we've got the next, it's not the next size down. I think it's two down, two sizes down, two and three eighths inch regular circle, okay? So we're gonna run that through very carefully okay that makes your frame you've got a circle there save that circle for something else and maybe i'll use it for my thank you tags when i cut y'all's out oh nope don't need that one this time you're just making the scallop circle and i'm also going to cut out this little tag this little tag is from the Ornate Frames dies, which are a fantastic set of dies for all your sentiment needs. They were Halloween dies when they first came out. They were like, they went with a Halloween set, didn't they? And now they're just anytime dies. Okay, so now 
we're gonna do the same thing we did. We need to stamp that leaf and the wings. All right, we'll use, you know, I used garden green. I'm not sure why I changed, but we'll do it. I need to clean this. Hold on, hold on. If you guys haven't gotten a chamois yet, you need to get a chamois. It's just awesome for cleaning your stamps. It looks disgusting, but it is awesome. Add it to your order. It's so good. All right. Here we go. Garden green. Beautiful. That, that stamp really stamps beautifully. All right, then we're going to do this one. Let me look again to see how I need to stamp that. Real red. I should just leave all these ink pads open, but... We know what happens. Oh no, I had it the right way. Okay, this way right here. Okay. Um, what do I have under my cut and emboss machine to keep it from moving? Um, this, what do you call this, drawer liner? It m slides around on the, it doesn't do it on my other counter, but here on this table, it slides around. Um, I heard a couple other people say that and then other people say it doesn't so it just depends on your surface and it drives me bonkers so I got some of that you know like the rubber um, you know it goes inside like your drawer your drawer my husband had it for his tools I don't know what it's called um, do I know when the ink bundles will be back in stock Diana I will check that for you I will be able to tell you that I can look Oh no, I'm dropping things. Stay with me till the end and I will find out. All right. Let's see if we can get this lined up again. Okay, maybe I did it without the assistance of my take your pick tool. I closed that ink pad again. Oh no, no, that's not the one I want, but I do need that one. <laughs> Oh, geez. For those of you following the house saga, um, our house, our new house was denied by the HOA because it had a front-facing garage and they only wanted side-facing garage. We are, we went back to the drawing board. Our home guy redid it and we're resubmitting this week the plans. So everybody cross your fingers say a little prayer that it gets approved and we can finally get on with starting this house. It's been like a year now and it's taking forever. I am, um, <sighs> Denise, I don't know. I think Denise is on here. Denise, if you know the HOA people, you better tell them to approve. My husband's so worried about it. And I'm like, well, we're following the rules now. Why are they going to deny it? And he's just worrying. Surely, I don't know. I'm going to have my own studio separate from the house so we won't have to hear the dogs anymore. We haven't, Pepper and I haven't walked at all this week. It's been so cold. And she has been awful. She needs that exercise. She got a toilet paper, a roll of toilet paper from the bathroom, a brand new one and completely destroyed it. And I didn't even hear her. Just right outside, there was toilet paper from the front of my house to the back of my house. It was everywhere. <laughs> She's like, I'll show you, lady. Um, oh, it, Pam, it says to be determined on the ink pad bundles. One of the problems I think um, with the um, ink pads. I think that's the a sourcing issue with the plastic. I feel like I heard that, you know, supply chain things. I think that's what I had, what I heard. I could have dreamt that, but I feel like that's the reason. Um, Catherine says she has four of those chamois and a couple are always waiting to go into the washer. Yeah, I throw mine in the washer too. Um, you can throw them in the washer or you can rinse them. I'm I'm doing the same thing we did earlier, splattering. You can you can um, throw them in the washing machine or you can take them to the sink and squeeze. That's kind of fun, satisfying, as my kids say. My kids say the weirdest things. It's so satisfying. And then now the new thing is spill the tea. 
Isn't that like an old timey phrase, you guys, spill the tea? You know, like gossip. They think they invented it and they, I'm like, y'all, that's like super old, like from like, I don't know, like the 1800s. I mean, that's like an old saying, I think, right? <laughs> Kids, and they say, bruh, all the time, bruh. I'm like, I, I am not your brother. And they're like, that's not what it means, mom. Stupid teenager sayings. Oh, Heidi says she heard it was the foam that was the sourcing problem. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. It's the foam pad. Yeah. I have a list of questions for Stampin' Up that I'm going to ask them when I go. Not this next week, the following week. So I'll add that <laughs> to my questions. I've just, been, I've just been writing things down. Okay, so we've got the leaf. I didn't flick enough ink, I don't think, but gonna have to do I put the ring on with dimensionals mini dimensionals now I'm gonna put our little ladybug on with dimensionals as well and then for the wings um I tried glue dots and they didn't stick you haven't heard that spill the tea I swear that's like old timey because they were like do you know what it means mom I'm like yes I'm not an idiots like you guys think I am I read books and stuff <laughs> oh middle school middle school is the worst okay so basically that's got to stick down and and like set so I'm gonna I'm gonna take something and just kind of set it there and let it set now I've got this tiny little hello Thanks, Jackie. Spill the beans, Irene. I've heard that too, but spill the tea. I feel like that's like a British saying. Am I am I making that up? I swear that's been around. It's in all my historical romance books. No? <laughs> Come on, guys. You got to stick with me. All right. So we need to make that a little bit shorter, and it's too small to go in our punch. So I'm just going to take a post-it note and feed it through like that. We're going to flag the end because it's just a little bit too long. A little hello. Perfect size for this project. And here's our other old friend, <laughs> Denise. It's old, right? Groovy. Oh, my God. They will roll their eyes right out of their head if I said groovy. My husband likes to throw all their slang back at them. He, like, he says... Yes, girl, slay, and they lose it. Dad, ah! <laughs> oh, it's so fun torturing them. Someday they'll have teenagers of their own. All right, a little mini dimensional right there for this tag. It originated in drag culture and was originally spill the tea as in truth. Christine, that's very interesting, um, has been used as tea, it appears, in the book Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. I've read that. So that's not really that old. Hmm. Interesting. I swear it's old. But that does make sense, the letter T. Hmm. <laughs> when she says spill the tea reply dish and watch it <laughs> oh to torture the teenagers it's just too much fun all right you guys there you go what do you think really easy I think this would be great I always go back to the teachers if you have a lot of teachers to make a little treat for really easy um if you wanted to simplify it stamp the leaf on the bottom circle um, you could do that. You don't have to fussy cut. Then you're, it's really easy. Now, the bees, um, what I did, same circles. I embossed with a hive embossing folder, flicked Daffodil Delight ink on it, and just punched the wings from vellum. And then everything else is the same. So the little pack of bugs that I got at Target had three ladybugs and two bees. And it's so cute. So cute. Okay, now I have um, their Lint, L-I-N-D-T, is that right? L-I-N-D-T, Lint, but I linked, um, Diana, if you go to my blog under the last photo, um, I linked them on Amazon. There's a, there's a, 
another one that, that might be cheaper. It's like a like a plastic tub of just ladybugs. So I, I know that there are there are other brands. Okay, let me show you a couple more things. So here's the card Anne Marie made. So cute. It was a swap card. Look, she even did the inside. Um, we have a swap every month. Look, she did the I didn't even notice the little stitching die around. That's really cute. Like, you know, like the oh, I should have thought of that. That's so cute. Um, anyway, Emery, thank you. Love it. Um, this one's going to be on my blog on Monday. All right. Another little fun fold, a little more black and white gingham. <laughs> Can't get enough. And then this one too. This one is done in vanilla. Um, vanilla, you know, like we used last week, it really changes the look of the ink. It really kind of tones it down and, uh, makes it, you know, more, more subtle, um, but anyway, there's the large daffodil, uh, that large daisy. And then one other thing I was going to show you. These I made for my team. They went in a team kit. I did way back in December, maybe beginning of January. These are our little, the little boxes, the little Valentine boxes. And we put these little, um, they're like little um, bookmarks, Amazon. And um, we put chocolates in there too. Just a, you know, inexpensive, fun little gift. The paper is that, what's it called? Heart and home paper. Um, and that's it. Okay, you guys. Um, I don't have to check on the ink pads because someone did that for us. I will ask and see if I can get more information on that. Um, Tia says, I didn't want the stamps until I saw your samples. My mission here is complete. My job is done. Um, all right. I hope I didn't miss any thing. Spill the tea. I expect you guys to all be using that in your conversations this weekend. And act like you know that it's hip and cool in the middle school set. <laughs> junior high. Do they call it junior high where you are here? We call it middle school. Okay. You guys don't forget free PDF. It's over there. The host code is on here. The supply list, the measurements. And everything else that I talked to you about is here with links. Don't forget if you put that order in by Monday at midnight, um, go and let me know which blends that you want. If your blend says low inventory, when you go check the inventory, if it says low inventory, give me a second choice. Because if by the time Tuesday comes and it's out of stock, I got to know what to order you. Um, and I think that's it. All right, you guys, don't forget celebration is almost over. Um, get that rainbow paper. It's so cute. You need extra. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me next week. Oh, I forgot the name of it. The little deer that matches the deer punch. Mm, can't think of it. That's what we're doing next week. I think. Yeah, that's what we're doing next week. I have a bunch of projects planned out, but that's what we're doing. All right, you guys, that's it. I'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye.